Hey everybody, welcome to the Gentleman Scholars Club. In today's video, we're doing an unboxing from the brand Bernard La Haye, one you may not have heard of, one I just discovered in the past few weeks. I've got a pair of trousers here from them. We'll be taking a look at what they have, as well as how it fits. Let's get started. So as the name Bernard La Haye suggests, there's definitely a French connection here. Uh, the company was started in 1876 by Albert Bernard, a Frenchman who started a tailoring shop in La Haye, uh, La Haye which is La Hague, in the Netherlands, and the brand was recently revived by the great-great-grandson of the family around 2018, I believe, and uh, still located in the Netherlands. Uh, they advertise on Permanent Style, a site that you may be familiar with, run by Simon Crompton. On the right of his site, he has a bar full of advertisers, and I was just clicking around there the other day to see what was available, what was what, some brands I had not heard of before out of curiosity, and was looking at the Bernard website and saw a pair of trousers in a beige, uh, at the right t with the right tone that I was looking for. Um, as I may have said in other videos, it's difficult to get the right shade of beige. Sometimes beige can be too yellow or sometimes it can be too gray. And I wanted something to kind of coordinate with this window pane, which has a tan, uh, tan stripes in it, tan window pane lines. So this particular color was sort of a stone. and I thought that might fit well. Uh, the measurements looked good and the cut was similar to Berg and Berg. It was a high rise, double uh, side adjusters, and a single pleat. So I ordered, uh, the pants just arrived a couple days ago, be unboxing and seeing how they fit. As you see, the box is your typical menswear, classic menswear style box. I do like the uh, kind of incised edges here. Interesting detail. Uh, this arrived, shipped in a regular package, and uh, not in another box or anything like that. It was slightly dented. It was pretty quick in, in arriving. It took a few weeks. Uh, it's got your tissue paper wrapping personalized with my name on here. At the top, there's the uh, stuck to the back. We have our, the envelope, envelope featuring the um, receipt and return label if necessary. And here are the trousers. The style of the trousers, what interested me on the website, side adjusters, higher rise, single pleat, and it has this sort of stone color, which is like a beige with some gray in it, a little bit of yellow, kind of a mid, mid range, which I'm hoping will match uh, this sort of striping, the tan stripe here in the sport coat I'm wearing. I think that'll be complimentary. Um, so similar to Bergenberg, like I said earlier, because of those features, side adjusters, single pleat and high rise, and the dimensions or measurements look to be similar as well and uh, Berg and Berg usually fit me nicely. So we'll put these on and take a look at how they do. So here are the trousers from Bernard. As you can see, the fabric is a stone beige color. So it's something, as I said, that I want to coordinate with the window pane of the jacket. I think they go well and will pair well with other brown tailoring. Uh, the fit is nice. Uh, it's got that single pleat, which gives you more comfort around this area. And the legs aren't too slim, it's just the right cut, similar to Bergenberg for me. Uh, the waist is slightly tight, but I usually buy my trousers in 32 US, 48 EU, because the legs and the rest of it fit me well, but I usually let the waist out by half inch or more uh, to accommodate that area and, and some extra eating that I do. Um, but I like to see that the leg isn't too slim, that it's comfortable in terms of uh, move, moving around and stuff like that. And these are, have a nice brushed hand to them, it's supposed to be a three season fabric. I would say this, this can be worn almost any time, probably not in the coldest winter, but doable even in the summer, definitely spring and, and autumn in terms of the level of comfort. And I just have to uh, cuff the bottom, they come unhemmed. Uh, fit is fine everywhere. It's got two buttons, two, two pockets on the back with buttons and uh, side pockets as usual. There's a coin pocket in the right side, uh, a key or coin pocket within the right side pocket as well. Uh, side adjusters, as I mentioned earlier, and then again, those pleats. So based on this initial pair of trousers from Bernard de la Haye, I would say that I would try this side again. Um, probably wouldn't buy 
a lot of things from them because I have very specific requirements and needs for the classic menswear that I like, as you know from my videos. But I would definitely keep an eye on their offerings from season to season to see if there are any other trousers, particularly, or other uh, items of menswear that would strike my fancy. Uh, they do have the typical items that you would find in the classic menswear shop, like sport coats, shirting, ties, and so forth. Um, if you've worn Bernard, uh, de la a, or Bernard La A before, or you, if you do so now, let us know in the comments section. Let us know what you think. If you'd like to have other brand reviews and introductions similar to this without bias or without sponsorship, follow us at Gentleman Scholars Club and like the video on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching.